lesbians, transvestites, AIDS, drugs. There is a whiff of controversy about the musical Rent. And St. Peter's College thought long and hard before finally choosing Rent for this year's transition year production. But at base, Rent is just a story. And it's not even a story about lesbians, transvestites, AIDS, and drugs. It's a story about people, about love, about life and death, about friendship, about hope. So in fact, Rent is a story like every other story. Yes, some of the people in the story are lesbians and transvestites. But they are only there because they are part of the story. It is a moving story. It takes place in New York City among people who live slightly on the margins because they are artistic or because they have trouble paying the rent or because they're sick, maybe with AIDS. And like people in real life, their lives crisscross and interconnect. So we thought we'd introduce a few of them. You will first meet Roger and Mark, flatmates, straight. Roger is a musician struggling with his next song. He falls in love with a girl, Mimi, who gets his attention by asking for a light for her candle, which she keeps blowing out. Uh, Mimi is an addict. They both keep trying, but failing to tell the other that they have AIDS. I should tell you. I should tell you. The other flatmate is Mark wants to be a filmmaker, still recovering from his girlfriend Maureen, leaving him because she has fallen in love with a woman. The, this woman, this woman is Joanne. And in a cruel plot twist, Mark and Joanne find themselves awkwardly sharing a scene together. Has she ever called you Pookie? Mark asks as he and Joanne dance the tango Maureen. There's Benny, used to be one of them, but now he's the landlord, wearing a suit and looking for rent. He wants to knock down the neighborhood and build something else. And he's after Mimi. The story's most colorful character is Angel. He's a young, cross-dressing gay man. He, he stumbles on Tom Collins, the third flatmate, who's just been mugged in a New York alleyway. They become partners. And indeed, the whole gang really takes to Angel who becomes the central symbolic figure at the heart of the story. Ladies and gentlemen, Rent. We began on Christmas Eve with me, Mark, and my roommate, Roger. We live in an industrial loft on the corner of 11th Street and Avenue B. It's the top floor of what was once an old music publishing factory. All rock and roll posters hang on the walls. They have Roger's picture advertising gigs at CBGB's and the Pyramid Club. 
We have an illegal wood burning stove. Its exhaust pipe crawls into a skylight. All of our electrical appliances are plugged into one thick extension cord, which snakes its way out a window. Outside, a small tent city has sprung up in the lot next to our building. Inside, it's freezing because we have no heat. Smile. December 24th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. From here on in, I shoot without a script. See if anything comes of it. First shot, Roger. With the Fender guitar, he hasn't played in a year. So we hear. <laughs> He's just coming back from half a year of withdrawal. Are you talking to me? Not at all. Are you ready? Hold that focus steady. Tell the folks at home what you're doing, Roger. I'm writing one great song. <laughs> the phone rings. Saved. We screen, zoom in on the answering machine. Beep. That was a very loud beep. I don't even know if this is working. Mark, Mark, are you there? I screen your calls. It's mom. We want to call and say we love you and we'll miss you tomorrow. Cindy and the kids are here. Send their love. Oh, I hope you like the hot plate. Just don't leave it on, dear, when you leave the house. Oh, and Mark, we sorry to hear that Maureen dumped you. I say, say la vie. So let her be a lesbian. There are other fishies in the sea. Love, Mom. Tell the folks at home what you're doing, Roger. I'm writing one great song. The phone rings. Yes. <laughs> We scream. Chestnuts roasting. Collins. I'm downstairs. Hey. Roger picked up the phone. No, it's me. Throw down the key. A wild night is not preordained. I may be detained. What does he mean? What do you mean detained? Ho, ho, ho. Benny, Benny no. no. Dudes are on my way. Great crap. I need to rent. What rent? This pasture's rent, which I let slide. Let slide, you said we were golden. When you bought the building. When we were roommates. Remember, you lived here. How could I forget? You, me, Collins, and Maureen. How is the drama queen? She's performing tonight. I know. Still her production manager. Two days ago, I was bumped. You still dating her? Last month, I was dumped. She's in love. She's got a new man? Well, no. What's his name? Joanne. <laughs> Rent my amigos is due, or I will have to evict you. See you in a few. <laughs>